Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Thursday, February the 6th, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading, talent, skill, or luck. I read recently that somebody said there's a difference between talent and skill. Talent is something that you're born with. Skill is something that you learn or earn. And luck, well, you know, I think we all know what luck is. Or do we? You know, some could say if you're born with a talent, you were lucky. And yeah, that could be true. I mean, there's some people that have perfect pitch. Um, they can hear a note and tell you exactly what it is. Some have really great singing voices. Um, they've never taken a lesson, but they can hear something and sing it sometimes even better than the original performer. And then some people, they might be born with a talent. They were lucky enough to be born with a talent, but then they really apply themselves and then they get really good at it and that's a skill. So, how does this apply to trading? I mean, if you think about it, is it luck? Is it a skill or is it a talent? I mean, you sit down at the computer now, I mean, back in the old days, there weren't computers, but, but today, here in the 21st century, you sit down at a computer, and you start up your trading platform, and then you see charts, line charts, bar charts, candlesticks. So where is the talent? Where is the skill? Where is the luck? I mean, can you be a be a born trader? I don't know. I, I really not I don't I don't think you can be a born trader. Let me know if you if you see it differently. Now skill, yeah, you can learn to trade. You can definitely learn to trade. I learned to trade. But then the luck. I mean trading has so much luck involved that most people don't want to admit it. But the fact of the matter is on any one single given trade, if it wins, you were lucky. If you lose small, you were skillful. But, you know, I think I made a video or a, or a post on a forum, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but I was basically saying that as traders, we are trained monkeys meaning when we have a plan a method a system we know what the rules are we know the rules of entry we know the rules of exit and if we sit in front of the computer all we're doing is waiting for those for things to line up to get the trigger and when the trigger happens, we press a button, or click the mouse, we enter the trade. And then when something else happens, we press the button or click the mouse and we exit the trade. You can train a monkey to do it, basically. You can write an EA, a robot, and let that do it. So sometimes we give ourselves a little too much credit for what's going on. You know, that's part of ego getting in the way. I learned long ago not to let that happen. You know, once you start reading your own press releases, you're doomed. So as you're trading, I want you to think about it. You know, is it a talent? I don't think so. But how much skill do you have? I mean, the real skill in trading, or one of the real skills, is making sure you don't lose more than you're willing to lose per trade. I mean, that stop loss, that having the right position size, that's a skill that you can learn. I mean, once you learn it, I mean, it's so simple, it's kind of difficult to get better at it. You just do it. And the thing is, is just you have to do it every time. It becomes a habit. It's just part of what you do. And almost you don't even really think about it but you should always be aware and conscious. Mindful is what the, the current vernacular is. People like to talk about being mindful. 
So let's just be mindful to make sure we have our risk management in place. But remember, boys and girls, fellow traders, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. Trading is very, very, very risky. You can lose all your money. So if you are seeking financial advice, trading advice, money management advice, investment advice, any kind of advice that has to do with money, seek your advice from an accredited financial professional. Somebody who has a certificate on the wall, probably in a behind glass in a frame, hanging and displayed proudly that they're an accredited financial professional. That way, when you lose your money because you took their advice, you know you got your advice from an accredited financial professional rather than some guy with a funny name making YouTube videos or posting on blog sites or sending emails or communicating in some other way so the weekly chart here we see we still have a few gaps that haven't filled but the dollar yen is on a tear it's 160 pips above the weekly low and 153 pips above the weekly open it's just moving up oh one thing to remember fellow traders tomorrow February the 7th is NFP day, non-farm payroll, and things can change big time. And you see here this gap, this gap still needs to be filled right here. We need, you know, 111.07, call it 111.08, or let's see, we can put the cursor here, and we should get a reading. I hate it when it does that. It doesn't give me the reading. Oh, well, somewhere around that 111.07 area. Hundred and nineteen pips above the yearly open is the dollar yen. And here we see again on a daily chart, it's starting to enter wick zones here at the top. And on the weekly chart, as you can see, it, it's just on a tear. But who knows, tomorrow it could come all the way back down depending on those NFP numbers. Now, we are in the inside bar, the daily inside bar range of 11 days ago. Short at 82, long at 110.08, short at 109.82. Those are triggers, something maybe you can think about tomorrow during NFP or even before NFP. We broke out of yesterday's high, we're up by eight pips. You can see here today's range isn't that big, only 31 pips, only two pairs over 100. Probably, I guess all the news of the impeachment being done with yesterday and tomorrow being NFP, um, I guess maybe traders are taking a little rest today. But you can see we put in another monthly D1 highest open. The monthly H1 highest open happened oh, 10 bars ago, 10 hours ago. We missed the pivot. We're right around the buy zone. Once again, range too low for rats. Missed the pivot here. We almost hit daily R1. We're right here above weekly, right at weekly R3. Slightly above it now on that last tick. And you can see we have missed pivots today and yesterday. Notice we just took out a missed pivot right here. Even with the 30, 31 pip range, we opened between 70 and 80, 
price isn't staying between 70 and 80 and it moved below 70 <clears throat> by a few pips and it moved above 80 by almost 20 pips one time once again such a simple way to trade all you have to do is employ your stop loss and not be afraid in and out of the upper wick zone right here crossing the previous day's high just crisscrossing it the einstein line somebody asked me about how do i trade with the einstein line well see this blue line that's the einstein line when i open this trading profile on mt4 this morning this is when i opened it and this is how prices move since then and these lines here they're about a spread apart so this is one spread this is one spread and so what i'm looking for is price is going to move away from this line so I'm trading away from the blue line. And relative to when I started, price is either above the line or below the line. So if I had started here, price would be below. But I started here and price is above. That's why I call it the TRO Einstein because or the Einstein line because it's relative. And, you know, Einstein had his theory of relativity. Everything is relative from the point of the observer, and that observer in this case is you when you started the uh, started looking at it. But remember, um, the Einstein line is one of those dynamic indicators. If you change the chart, change the time period, uh, this line's going to change and move to when you start. <clears throat> so just be aware of that. And just so you know, there's the. Uh, indicator right there and i this is i believe the old version no this is the new version where if you put zero in for threshold it'll just use whatever the spread is at the time for the trigger so if price moves one spread then you either you can buy or sell based on that <clears throat> Or you can trade just the crisscross. It's up to you. You can, or you can override that by you could make this five pips from the line, <clears throat> ten pips, or however you want. But that's the whole idea of the Einstein line. Now here, as you can see on at the tick level, we're just oscillating by about three or four pips. Nothing grand at the moment. Notice. We are trading, or the price of dollar yen is trading above the upper weekly ATR range, average true range, the maximum range over the past 14 or from the left from two days to 14 days was ATR six, and the min range over the last 14 days or between two and 14 is uh atr 13. so every um day every week for the daily the daily these change and for the weekly these will change range today only 30 for the week 167 average 124 so you can see we're well above the average so that's it for today boys and girls Um, you know, I want you to ponder that thought. Luck, skill, talent, talent, luck, skill. What is it? And and just really think about it. Like I said, ponder it because it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the bank. And uh, also remember to uh, click subscribe. Click like and share this video all over the internet.